What is up guys, Know the Crip, and I'm bringing you guys my overview of the new DLC coming out, uh, Uprising. So I'm just going to run through what I think each map is, or what I think about it, and also the zombies. So the first one is Magma, that's the one where it's the, um, the map where it has all the lava and everything. And I think it looks like a pretty cool map, it's different, you know, there's lava, it's not like, you know, you can fall off and run into water, like uh, the other maps. But you know, it looks kind of weird, in my opinion, just because it looks kind of hard to run around with and see, you know, where you're going. Especially when they showed the lava moving, that was pretty interesting. So I wonder if you can, um, you know, push somebody back in to like a certain spot they can get burned. Um, the next is Encore. Encore looks pretty damn sick. I'm not gonna lie. Um, but what I'm thinking about is like where the B flag would be. You know, like would it be in the center of the stage or would it be in that little back um, walkway that's separating the two stands? So that'd be kind of interesting to see. And also, it'd be kind of weird how people would probably camp, you know, in the stand or something. You know, if they're using, like, a kill streak and they'd be lying down. Um, if your body would be exposed. And it would be, it'd be very interesting to see as well. Uh, vertical. And I know, like, a lot of you guys, it kind of looks like um, High Rise from MW2 and uh, Overwatch from MW3. So we're going to probably see a lot of trick shotting. Um, a lot of snipers jumping off the buildings, you know, search and destroy. Getting those really cool clips. So that'd be really interesting to see, and I like the map as well. It's freaking awesome, and also they they have a veto over there um, on the map. So me and my friends are thinking it'd be pretty cool if they would, you know, instead of calling the veto and coming in, if what if what if, what if it would just take off from there, and it would be like you would fire from there. That'd be pretty damn cool. Um, studio, oh my goodness, studio! Everyone loves firing range from Black Ops One just because it was downright awesome. Um, I personally like it just because, I don't know, the map is really cool, I like it, it's very balanced, and especially how it's going to be very, I don't know, stretched, not stretched out, that sounds weird, that's what she said, ha <laughs> ha um, it's very, I think it's evened out to a point where you can really, you know, understand what the heck's, what the heck's going on, excuse me, I cannot talk, sorry guys, it's like 11.30 at night, and I had a long day today, so mind me if I'm stuttering, um, I think also trick shotting might come back in again. If you guys remember from the first one, there's a building in the middle that is um, has a long, what is it stair not stairs ladder? There's ladder in the middle, so ladder stalls, a lot of trick shotting, and I'm trying to get into trick shotting as well and sniping as well. So um, I'll probably post some more gameplays, but for right now I'm just posting. Me and my friends are playing hardcore. And um, I'm using my friend's gameplay as well, my friend's gameplay, but I'm using him as well, just because I didn't go so well. Um, he's using the FAL, uh, it's Big Red. So Big Red's using the FAL, I'm using my MP7. And I love this gun, holy crap. It's um, It's got yeah, quick draw and grip. And it kind of reminds me of the MP7 from MW3, which is OP as heck, because guys are just running, spray, and kill somebody. And uh, he's also using, my friend is also using a crossbow, which is pretty damn cool. And he kills his teammate. Good job. Good job. Um, also, and then the last one thing is Mob of the Dead. So this one I really want to cover just because me and my friends play zombies a lot. And we want to see, you know, like what the heck is going on and everything. So one of them is the perk. So then there's that other perk where it probably turns you into a, um, a ghost and I guess you can zap zombies. So we're wondering maybe it could be an insta kill, you know, when you hit zombies, it's always a, or maybe it can be up to a certain level and you take like two shocks or maybe you have like a certain time to get to yourself and revive yourself. And uh I don't know, it'd be pretty cool. And the perks I think are probably gonna be the same. That might add a few in. Um also that also in the trailer, if you guys haven't seen the trailer, there's one like kind of big fat hellhound in the middle of the map, and it seems like if you feed him or from what we, what we've heard is if you feed them zombies, it'll probably help you out in some way. So we're waiting to see if um, something cool like that would probably happen. You know, like you feed them zombies and then he spits out, I don't know, some zombies to help you or some shields. Um, what else? What else? Oh, there's also this really like heavy said dude that can come in. And from what we heard and everything and you know, watching other videos, it says that if you were to open the mystery box and you were to come in and, you know, take it or he were to hit it but if we were to come towards it he could stop the mystery box from being open and he can also do this with the perks as well so i don't know that's really skeptical especially if you're gonna go solo and try to do it yourself you'd be kind of screwed but i don't know um so that's my cover on the dlc guys on um, that's coming out i'll do a cover of it maybe if i get it and also a new video will be coming out 
probably either this Saturday or Sunday, so look out for that. And make sure to subscribe, like the video, comment, and yeah, peace.